you're welcome once again to another of my tutorial. What I want to do here today is how to fix the crinoline on your peplum or your peplum. So how to fix your crinoline, how to make your peplum to stand. That is what I want to show you here today. So what we are going to is please we are going to use this strong paper gum. A strong paper gum. I went to use that. I went to use this crinoline. Crinoline has different types, about four. So this one is light. Why this one is thick? I'm going to make use of this thick one. I don't use this light one for, for what I want to do. So what I'm going to make today is 1080 degree peplum. That is what I want to make today, not 360, 1080 degree peplum, which is 360 into three places. That is what I want to do today. And, I, and here I have my second phase of my waist here. Yeah. My second phase of my waist, I've measured it already. My second phase of my waist gives me 41. 41 divided by 3 gives me 13.65. So, so, make me understand. My second phase divided by 3 is my 41. My waist measurement, which is 41, divided by 3. So, to make it easier for you to get, this is how you do it. As you can see, this might take this into three. And then into three. That gives me 13.65. Like this, this there. And the full, the full, the full, the length, the full length of my peplum is 10. Plus showing the allowance, so it's 10. The full of length of my peplum. Take note 1080 degree 360 into three places. This is 1080 degree peplum. That is what I want to do here. So let me show you how to fold it. Then. So I have folded my fabric to cut out my second friends. My peplum, sorry, to cut out my peplum. I have folded it into four. How I got my calculation? I divided my second phase, as I told you, into three parts. And, and those three parts, I divided my one of those three parts, which is 13.6. I divided it by four. Divided by four gives me 3.3. I divided this 13.6 into four, gives me 3.3. But what I want to do here today is different kind. I want to make it four. I want to make it eight, sorry. This one here now is four. One, two, three, and four. But what I want to do here now is eight. I want it to get a very nice shape, the peplum. So I want to give it eight. So how to get your eight is just to fold this one again. Just to fold this one again to get my eight. So the peplum, as I told you, the full length is 10. I have divided my 13.6 into 8 and it gives me 1.6. I divided my 13.6 into 8 places and it gives me 1.6. So what I'm going to do here now is to put 1.6 here. 1.5, 1.6. So here I will put 1.6. As you can see, 1.6, so 2 here, to get your accurate, you know, 1.6. And here, my plus, my sewing allowance is 10, the peplum. 10, you can see, you can see my starting line of 10. Don't waste your fabric, make sure you calculate it well. 10. In any way you did something like this and you discover that this one here is longer adjust it until it reach the beginning so I don't waste your fabric so what I will do now is to cut so I have cut it out as you can see it's folded into it like this is into four place it again into eight I have cut it out now what I'm going 
going to do now, I'm going to cut another two to make it three of this shape. Even my 1018 and so let me cut it and come back here. As you can see, I have cut out my 1080 degree. This one here is 360, another 360, and another 360. All these shapes here, what you are seeing here, I will join all together, and all of them will come to a conclusion of this circumference. All of them put together will come out here. So what I'm going to do next, I want to make it double step. So I'm going to cut another one of this. But I'll make that one three inches shorter than this one. So as you can see, I have cut out my second step for the peplum. If you know you have not subscribed, subscribe or like and share to your friends to watch my video. So what I'm going to do next now is to cut the lining for, for them. All of them, they're going to have their own lining. So I'll cut the aligning and after it come back to you. Okay, so I have cut it out as I told you. What you are going to do next, after cutting out your lining, all of it cut out your lining for you. I'm going to insert your paper gum, this strong paper gum, on the fabric. On the fabric. But if you don't want to use quinoline as I showed you. You can still use this paper gun on your lining and on your fabric. It will still flay. It will, it will still come, but it will not give you that weight like quinoline normally gives. And if you still want it to be stronger, if you use your gum seal for the lining and the fabric, you still add your quinoline, it will still come out nice. What I want to do now, I want to make it not that hard. I want to add my, my paper gun to the lining. So after adding everything, I'll come back to you. As you can see here, I have cut out, I have gummed my peplum, sorry. I have gummed all the fabrics, which I told you I have gummed. I have gummed and I left the, the, the lining on gum. So it will be like that, as I told you. So what I'm going to do next now, what I'm going to do next is to share it. I will share one part like this, fold it like this. After folding it like this, I will cut it out like this. Cut it out like this. I will do it for all of the fabric, the plum, and the lining. I will come back to you. So I have cut all of them as I told you. I have cut all of them. As you can see, this one is on the first layer. Three. Three sixty seven twenty one eighty three. I've cut all of them like this because I'm going to change them. I did the same for the for the both the lining and the second step. So what I'm going to do next is to join like this. I will take this to my machine now, press it like this, and join this one to that this one. Then this other one, since it is three, after I join this one, I'm still going to join this one again. I will do the same for the smaller one and for the lining. All of them, I'm going to join them according to their incident. I'll come back to you. I have I have sewed it together and I went ahead to open iron it. Went ahead to iron it after sewing it together. I went ahead to open it. I did the same for the upper the bigger layer and I did the same for the lining. I went ahead and opened all of them. Make sure you open it very nicely. So what you are going to do is this is for the big side, the first step of the peplum. Which one? This is the lining for it. So what we are going to do now is to put the in the middle. So back in there, put it like this. Make sure right side is facing the right side. Your peplum, your fabric, and your lining right side is facing the right side. Right, you don't get enough work. You can see like this. 
in the carry of crinoline. Your crinoline must be on the lining. This one is a must. It's nothing like compromising. This one must be must. This one you must put it on your. You can see the lining. The crinoline must be on it. Then you clean. It is stretchy. Don't drag it. Just let it be. Just follow the shape of your teflon. Don't drag it. That is very vital. Don't drag it. And you must put it on your lining. Those two are vital. You must take note of that. So that is what you can see. You clean it. So I will go ahead and pull it down and come back to me. As you can see, on the lining, as I told you, I have pinned my crinoline all around it. Pin it around. Both on the second layer, I have done the same thing. So I will take it to my machine and show you how to sew it. So let's go. Okay, so here we are on the sewing aspect. You can see the crinoline. Put it like 0 0.35 or half inch, but I prefer using 0 0.35 because after sewing, I'm still going to top stitch. So just take it slowly like this on your 0 0.35. Then make sure your lining and your fabric is equal so that you don't sew out of the fabric because now you're using the lining like this, just like this. Hope you can see it like this. I'm going to you're sewing like this. You're sewing like this. Okay, after sewing, I will come back to you. Okay, I have sewn the crinoline to the peplum and I have to take all the pins off. As you can see, I'm doing this one. But now I want to top stitch and I there's something I want to show you. You to know when top stitching, but if, if in case you don't have to top stitch, you can go ahead and top stitch. Top stitch. I want to show this video for those that don't know. I'll take it to the machine, but I will still show you from here. I saw my I saw my on the fabric like this. You can sew like this if you know how to do it. Me, I saw mine like this. You use this your hand to push this one in. Make sure when sewing, your machine is cashing up this one at this, at this end here. Make sure when it starts, you sew on this lining throughout. Let's go to the machine. Let me show you. You can see. So what I do is to put my hand. You can see my hand. When can I you can see my hand, this one now, using it to push it in. Make sure you, you are feeling it that it has gone that way. Push it in like that. I'm still using it. You can see, supporting it with this one too. You can see the support there. Pushing it in. It is not difficult, you can do it. It's very, very easy. Just push it in like that. So it's I will show you how it looks so way too way too. You can see that pushing in, you can see it has the machine has cut this one. So this is how it is. You are going to do it all through. Let me finish and I will show you how it looks. So I am done stop, stop stitching. You can see the outcome. What I told you. You can see. Let me show you this side. You can see there is so front. You can see. Everywhere. I've done the same for the second layer. 
and I'll go ahead and give it a nice press. And I'll put it right in your own. Give it a very good press. Iron it very well. So I'll come back to you after the ironing. When ironing, make sure you, you sprinkle a lot of water. Like what I have here now. It is a plastic bottle. You use office pin or tailor pin to put some few holes, about eight to nine holes there. Then sprinkle it. Make sure you put a lot of water so that it will relax very well. So that it will relax very well. Sprinkle it, sprinkle it. When you iron, when iron in, if it's any place that is not good, you sprinkle it with a lot of water. This is what I want to show you. Thank you. Come on. As you can see, I have ironed them. I know you might be wondering why I folded it like this. This is what I want to show you. In the process of ironing, you might find it difficult because it is very full. So I try to show you what to do. If you iron from here to here, fold in, bring it like this. I don't try to here, fold in. So that is how I was able to fold it with ease. I only to ease like just like this. I only fold. I only fold. So what you will do? Yeah, I'm done with this one. Now. I'm also done with this one. So what you will do now is to trim out any excess. If you have any excess, you trim it out to be neat like this. Then take it to your machine. Take it to your machine and sew. You can see. It's aligned like this. So yeah, sew so it in. You can see how I press it like this. So it's in. So the let me take that and I'll go back to you. I have I, I have sold it and ironed it as well. So what, what I will do next is to sew it round from here. Because there will be some excess. Some excess. So I'm going to sew it round these rough edges. So it to seal both the lining and fabric together. So that I can be able to bring out any excess. Put this, I'm going to do it and I'll come back to you. So, what I will do now is to get the midpoint. After I've sold this round, what I will do now is to get the midpoint. So, I have gotten my midpoint for the first step of the peplum and also for the second step, I have gotten my midpoint and for the Gloves, the up part, the half length. I've gotten my midpoint. You can see it. I'm still going to sew it. Like that, I sew this up. Then I will put this on on this one. Put this smaller flare on this one. Midpoint to midpoint. Midpoint to midpoint. And I first of all sew to the end. Then I sew to this other end. Let's go. If I if I put it on the paper, I'll come back to you. Okay, so you can see I'm done fixing my my blouse. You can see how it looks like very sweet and nice. I feel like taking it to church on Sunday. Okay, you'll be there with me. I have something to show beginners. There is something I want to show beginners. And if you make something like this, it is good to always pipe your in case you do not sew it inside, it's good to pipe it so it, it will look nice and neat. If you do not sew inner, make it inner sewing. There's, one day I will drop my inner sewing video where you do not even see piping like this. Everything is balanced. And there's something I want to show beginners. I have something special about beginners. If in case, because peplum like this, it always goes over. So if in case you are fixing, like I told you to fix the front, to join your front and front together to the end. When you are fixing one to the end, sometimes either the up is longer than the down, or the down is longer than the up by length when sewing to the end. Make sure you plate it, don't cut it out. Because what you are trying to get is for this peplum to be full. Don't cut it out, plate it, look for you to plate it bit by bit, bit by bit until get to the end and also this side if you find anything like that to this side make sure you place it to the end and when fixing your midpoint after you have done that when fixing this to this one you also sew 
from the mid point to the down. When sewing to, to the down, before you get to this, get to this place, sorry, before you get to this place, make sure you check your your remaining part. If it is over, make sure you plant it here. As you can see, you see plenty. Make sure you plant it at this opening here, so that if it gets tight, when you open this, it is very easy for you to free here. Make sure you plant it here and complete your sewing here. Make sure you plant it and complete your sewing here. Same thing with this other side. If you find anything like that, make sure you do it like that. I am blessed to have you as my viewers. I believe you can do better than me. That is my prayer for you. For you to do better than me. I'm very pleased. You are blessed. Thank all of you for watching.